This video is brought to you by Osmocote, the planter's plant food. Whoa! There you go. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti and I just sawed apart a little miniature hosta and I'm going to put this little perennial to use. So let me show you my project. This is a window box, it's a moss window box, but it has two layers. Now often when you plant in two layers because there's openings in the moss, plant in a lower layer. The certain plants like to grow in this lower layer, but here's a mistake. I planted this rather tropical plant and it did not like growing in this lower area. So I'm going to remove it and the way you do that, you go from the top, scrape away the soil, push this forward and remove this sweet potato vine plant. See how it comes out? Because it wasn't very happy growing down this lower level. It got too wet. But these hostas are extremely tough and hardy. The same lime green color. So I'm going to go from the back and stick my hosta through so it's going to come out. Now, how do I keep it in place? I use moss. Sphagnum moss is what I use to keep the new plant in place. It's just kind of like a little patch. Now, before I add the top layer, I'm going to add some slow-release plant food. I love the Osmocote because it works all summer. And I'm really smitten with this container because it spreads so easily. And now, my theme this year is orange and bright. So, inspired by these geraniums that are called Vancouver Centennial Geranium, I've also picked up some bright orange begonias. These begonias are called non-stop begonias because they bloom non-stop and they're great. So before I plant them, I'm going to do a little arrangement of spacing. If I go like this and see now I have three begonias and only two geraniums. So I think I'm going to space these out a little bit farther like this and get something else nice and bright, like a bonfire begonia. And my bonfire begonia that I had sitting right here, now I can't find where he went to. So I've got these guys in here, and I will go ahead and plant them. And you come back in a moment, you're going to see this whole window box all done. OK, I found my begonia. It's a bonfire begonia. Bonfire begonia has little flowers, bright orange, and it's a different kind of a begonia than the non-stop begonias. But don't they look great together? So I'm going to put the bonfire begonia in the center of this window box. See, I'm going to rough up the roots just a little bit. It's going to be the centerpiece because it's going to get the largest. I'm going to kind of put it towards the back of the window box because I have all these dianthus in the front, licorice vine in the front, this is that little yellow hosta that I planted earlier. Don't worry, it's going to get really big. And now I have my orange theme garden. Lots of hot, bright colors, even though this entire thing is in the shade, because you can really warm up your garden when you use bonfire begonias. This has been Mary Ampanetti. Easy answers for great gardens.